Hi everybody, it's Tim with Engadget, and I'm uh, happy to be able to give you an exclusive look at uh, this prototype device from uh, two design companies called uh, Emerge Design and uh, Frog Design. Now, you may not have heard of these companies, but I'll guarantee that you have used uh, a product that uh, one of the two of them uh, created but uh, was sold to uh, another manufacturer. Now, from the front, it looks a little bit like maybe a, a Galaxy S or perhaps a bit like an iPhone. Uh, but if you look at it from the side, you can see there's this kind of odd bevel there, and things are a little bit chunky. It's about 14 millimeters thick. But that's, of course, because there is a trick. Fold it open, and you have uh, a dual-screen smartphone. Now, this is, of course, going to immediately uh, elicit comparisons to the Qserie Echo, which we reviewed not too long ago, which is another dual-screen Android smartphone. But this one is... A little bit different in, uh, well, it's actually a lot different in a variety of ways. For one thing, the hinge is actually a fairly traditional thing that simply folds in the middle like this, so it's a little bit like uh, folding a book backwards. And uh, the build quality here is very different. This feels like a very, very high-end device compared to the Kyocera, which has uh, kind of a light, kind of a plasticky, kind of a clicky feel to the hinge to it. This definitely has a, a heavy, solid, uh, high-end feel to it that, uh, that the Kyocera doesn't have. Now, this is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Uh, we asked about uh, the potential of future Android versions. We're told that uh, the companies are keeping their eyes and ears open for developments on the ice cream sandwich front. Uh, but for now, we're talking uh, 2.3 Gingerbread. Performance is reasonably good, uh, even though the software is very early. So I will uh, caveat that, that if you see some weirdness, I certainly don't make any judgments now because we're still many months away from production on, on this device. Uh, but it is running a TI OMAP processor. The final clock speed has not been decided, but it will be a dual core uh, machine. So let's take a look at the software. Obviously, there has to be some uh, customizations and tweaks made here to uh, allow for dual screen support. And uh, as you can probably see on some of these applications, there's a little superscript on the upper right which indicates compatibility with uh, multi screen mode. So the email app that they provided does support uh, multiple uh, screens and that by default it's going to load up on the right screen but uh, you can flick it to the left to get it to the left here or you can do a slow drag to expand it out to be able to use both screens now you can see on the left I've got uh, this folder view and if I pick uh, the inbox for example I can see the emails over on the right let's take uh, this email for example and now I get the details of the email on uh, the right but uh, I get this view of all the other uh, emails that are sitting in the inbox and you can scroll through here pick one and it's populated over on the right now if I load up an application like Angry Birds this application has not been customized so I can't get this to go full screen but I can have it running over here on one side while on the bottom I have uh, my email going still and I can drag from one to the other basically again making things full screen or you can do a pinch gesture and, uh, and swap them. And a, a, another interesting thing, basically, if you're looking at uh, the device like this and you want this app to go full screen, you just turn it like this, and uh, basically it falls down to uh, take up the entire uh, display, both, dis both displays. So uh, it's kind of a, a nice intuitive gesture. If you have two full screen apps, as you rotate it one way or the other, they'll basically take turns going back and forth and, and filling up the screen. Now you can load up multiple apps here, so this is the uh, the music app. And you can basically almost get like a card view of, uh, of your applications. You can swipe from one to the other, uh, just as if they were stacked, like on WebOS, more or less. And again, you're using a bezel gesture, again, more or less like WebOS. And you can just to, uh, go full screen, you do uh, a slow drag like that, and it pops out. The company's also added a, uh, a different task switcher. So here, what you can do is see all the running applications, and then you can simply take one and drag it up if you want to uh, want to select that. Now, one of the best apps to show off uh, the multi-screen prowess here is to use uh, one of the productivity applications which come on the device, allowing you to edit. For example, in this case, this is a, a Word document. Now we'll turn the device again this way, and that will pop to full screen. And you now have a really good view of uh, the uh, the document itself. You can scroll through here anywhere you like to make changes. You can just tap on the screen and bring up the uh, the full screen keyboard. Now that's a little bit of an unfortunate glitch. You see that I selected text in the bottom of the screen, and the keyboard uh, kind of came in and hid that. So I'm, I'm sure that will be something that uh, the company will change. But you've got now uh, a nice roomy keyboard. And another thing that the, has been added is a full number pad, but you can also swipe from side to side 
to get uh, some other handy keys, whether it be special characters, over here on the right.com.net, and your arrow keys as well. Or if you go full screen this way, you still get much the same view of the keyboard, now taking up the lower half of the screen. Now, of course, this is probably the best way to see the unfortunate bezel here in the middle, which is uh, a little bit of a distraction and a little bit unfortunate. It's definitely a thin bezel as far as bezels go, but when it's right there in the middle of your view, uh, especially when you're looking at text in this way, it's, uh, well, pretty noticeable. But if you look at uh, text in this way, it's, it's obviously a little bit less distracting. And, uh, and overall, this is definitely a nice way to edit uh, your document, certainly much nicer than uh, trying to go through a Word document or a spreadsheet or a PowerPoint on, uh, on a single screen. So again, this is a prototype device, early hardware, still a few months out from uh, production at least. Uh, we don't know what carrier this will be on, but right now, as you can see, we're running on AT&T. And uh, we don't know how much it will cost, or even if uh, it will have a proper name by then. I'm sure that it will have a proper name. Uh, you are, of course, invited to make your own suggestions for names in uh, the comments. So again, this is Tim with Engadget, and this is a first look at a prototype device from Emerge and Frog Design.